cute. Oh my goodness! Hey y'all! I want you to meet our new little foster pup, Ty. That's his name. We don't know if we're going to change it or not, but we didn't think it made sense to change it while we're still fostering him. So just a little backstory. For a few months now, I've had it in my mind that we really want to adopt a puppy. After looking through some different sites, I came upon one that was about an hour away from us. I saw his picture, knew we had to meet him. The only thing is that he is a special needs dog. Just to rewind a little bit, so what's unique about him, which you'll see him in a little bit, I'm so excited, he's gonna be arriving any second now. Not only are we fostering to adopt him from a rescue, but he also has heartworm. So he actually started his treatment last week and we had no idea, we knew nothing about heartworm. I just feel really good about this decision. It's gonna be such an adjustment having him here. We've only met him once before and when we met him, we just loved his temperament so, so much. Sweet, yeah. We really didn't like shop or look around at many dogs at all. We only met him and decided we wanted him. <laughs> so yeah. Um, He'll be here any moment. I'm just standing by the door, just anticipating his arrival. We're just so excited. Are you excited, Matt? Very excited. We're so excited. Because it was a whole process. We even had to send in some references. They even talked with our neighbor. I had them contact my parents' vet. The application went through, we got accepted, so now we are fostering him. Okay. <laughs> He has gone through one dose of his heartworm treatment so far. You can see right here they had to shave him to give him the first injection. And he's gonna have to go through his second and third dose in about a couple of weeks. Until he is completely cleared from the vet, then we can adopt him. Oh, he came, yay! The funny thing about this breed, since I'm used to you know being around more of the Shih Tzu breed, he's a bit more calm and has like a bit more of an independent streak than maybe Shih Tzu's may have. So I've never really had a lot of experience with the Lhasa Apso breed. I can't wait until he is all good and cleared from this heartworm treatment. I can't wait to be able to take him on walks and do all the more active stuff with him. For now, we just have to keep him in a really calm environment. When he came here, he did sleep in a crate the first night in our bedroom. And then the next few nights, he slept on this chair that's in this bedroom. And then after he got more and more comfortable, he ended up just jumping on the bed and sleeping on the bed with us, which we weren't really sure at first if we were going to let happen. Uh, but he's just such a good dog. We're just like, you know what? If he wants to sleep on the bed with us, he's comfortable with it. Sure, why not? And these type of breeds, they just like to be elevated. They like to have like a good vantage point. He'll even sit right at the top of the stairs. He loves being able to look out towards the entryway door and window area. We just feel more whole. Matt loves him too. He just thinks we really lucked out. I love him a lot. I think it was so, so great that you were able to find him. And Aww, yeah. a good boy. He also has some like really fun features like his like swirly tail. He's got um, a little kink at the end of yeah. his tail, which I heard can't some Lhasa Apsos can have. He's got like one clump of black hair that comes like out of his unicorn. forehead, kind of like a unicorn. <laughs> and uh, sometimes he reminds me of um, Falcor from Neverending Story. Oh yeah, yeah we so talked was... about this. Something about his face, I think mainly his eyes. Like sometimes it makes me think of Furbies. <laughs> so he's, he's got a really unique a uh, derpy look and we just, we love him. Mm, yeah. <laughs> this house feels even more like a home with him here and it just, we just couldn't be happier. So fingers crossed that the rest of his treatment goes really well. I just, I can't wait till the day where we get to say he's officially ours. And yeah, he just feels like he's a part of the family, like already, so. Another interesting thing is Sydney, my parents' girl dog. So I believe she's a Shih Tzu mix. She's smaller than him. I didn't even say this. Ty, I believe is around 23 pounds. I'm gonna have to reweigh him and should just see if he's gained any weight since being here with us. She was basically a rescue too, so I don't know exactly what she may be mixed with. 
Lhasa Apsos and Shih Tzus do look very similar, but Shih Tzus have a smaller structure, a little bit more compact. Lhasa Apsos, they do have a bit taller of a head and a longer snout. So it's a little different. They do both have the underbite, which is so adorable. The hair texture is also a little different. Shih Tzus tend to have softer hair. His is a little bit more coarse, but because he is a Lhasa Apso Shih Tzu mix, it almost seems like the top half of him is softer and the back half, his hair is more coarse. Oh, is he zooming right now? Oh, he's, he's playing with his bend bone right now behind me. Yeah, he's right there. <laughs> so another thing is when my mom and my family and just some friends knew that we were going through this adoption, but first fostering, so it's a foster to adopt process. When they knew we were going through this and heard about Ty, um, my mom especially, she was just really excited for us. Sometimes we'll watch after Sydney and we'll basically pet sit her, but then it's like she's not here all the time. So when we don't have her here, it's like I'm just itching for a dog to be here. We were a little unsure of what it would mean to take care of a dog who's heartworm positive and who's going through treatment, which they even say it's almost similar to us going through chemo. It can be really tough on the body. So some of the symptoms could be, you know, vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue. And so far from what the rescue had witnessed of him after getting that first dose, because they watched after him for a week after the first dose, hey, there hasn't been a change in behavior, no change in appetite. It can also reduce their appetite. And he is very much a food motivated boy. So we have not seen any anything that has signaled to us that like his body is going through a really rough time due to the treatment. So that's exciting to see. And in a couple weeks, he's gonna go through the second and third dose, which means that we're gonna have to take him to the vet and he's gonna have to stay with the rescue, I think for at least a day or two, just so they can monitor him. Overall, just taking care of a heartworm positive dog going through treatment has not been bad as long as you're not doing anything to create a chaotic environment that could get the dog's heart rate up. We've just had a lot of really fun experiences with him so far. <laughs> you having fun playing with the toy? Well, you're so cute, aren't you? Let's give him a roll. Give him a roll. <laughs> Is this a toy for you? Ready? My, one of my friends actually recommended some clippers that you can get off of Amazon. So I use that to just trim the hair around his feet because he doesn't have as much traction if so much of the hair is growing through the paws. It probably tickles. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> and it just got so wispy in front of his feet that I just trimmed that area. I could also see it maybe being helpful if I needed to just trim other parts of him. He's so sweet too. He's not like the type that's going to be super clingy and like constantly lick you and like want to cuddle with you all the time. But he does like to sit near you and like lean his head on you. He's just really sweet. He just has this really independent, calm nature, but sometimes he can be really playful. So I think if you have the chance to foster a dog, I would recommend it because it really allows you to give them this nice, warm, loving home while they're going through a time of transition or maybe through a medical treatment like he is. And then once we adopt him, it is gonna cost us $300. Uh, which honestly I think is a steal after getting to know him, but I think that is pretty standard for a pet adoption these days. It can vary depending on where you decide to adopt a dog, but yeah. I think that's it. I've been talking for quite a bit now. Might have been a little all over the place with uh, how I shared some of the story, but I really hope you all enjoyed this. I'm glad you all got to meet him. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm excited to share him with you. If you're following me on Instagram, I'll probably share him quite a bit more there. I just thought I would update you all because sometimes you'll see a dog running around and if you ever wonder about him, I hope you watch this so that you can now be informed and just wait until we can officially say he's ours. Stay tuned for that. I can't wait until that moment. I feel like we should celebrate. <laughs> but all right guys, that is all. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye feels like a family picture. Mm -hmm.